GMGM GM, Financial Friends, today is Sunday, March 31st. My name is Luis, your host, and today we have another episode of the Meta Intro Show. I got three different headlines for you today, including an AI report from the White House, a minimum wage increase that's impacting employees, and a layoff report. Once again, this is the Meta Intro Show. Let's get right into it. The White House just dropped a report that's got us asking, robots stealing our jobs? Not exactly, but AI is definitely going to shake things up. We're talking 10% of the U.S. workforce could be facing some major career crossroads thanks to AI. Here's the thing. AI is definitely affecting our daily lives. In this case, it's also affecting the workforce, which is no surprise. It's definitely going to affect the gap between the rich and the poor and basically everything else that makes a society move forward. Now, the report digs into the nitty gritty of AI's impact. Turns out 20% of us are already working alongside some level of AI. But here's a kicker. There's a small group, about 10%, who are most at risk of getting squeezed out by automation. Why? because their jobs involve a lot of AI exposure, and they don't require super specialized skills. Some of these skills might include data entry and assembly line jobs. This AI wave could also widen the income gap. High paying gigs that need fancy degrees seem to be getting a boost from AI, creating even more demand for these individuals. Meanwhile, lower wage jobs might get replaced by AI altogether, leaving folks scrambling. And get this, there's a slight gender difference too. Women are just as exposed to AI as men, but a bit more likely to be in jobs with lower skill requirements. So yeah, AI might not be the most equal opportunity employer. But there's also some positives here. AI is not here just to take our jobs, it's here to transform the way we work. Most people's jobs are a mesh of different tasks. Imagine if we could automate the mundane ones and actually allow us to focus on the more creative skills that push companies forward. In this case, AI will free up a lot of time for us to focus on that. But the bottom line is this, AI is coming to the workplace. With the right approach, we can kind of incorporate this tech into people's lives in a positive manner. We just gotta make sure AI lifts up the boats and not just a select few. And now, a word from our sponsor. Do you need new headshots to put your best foot forward in your job hunt? With BetterShot AI, you can get 120 professional headshots without leaving your house. You can upload 10 casual photos of yourself and BetterShot takes care of the outfits and backgrounds. In less than three hours, your headshots are delivered to your inbox. No photographer, dressing up, or posing require when you use Better Shot AI. Get 120 photos for $25 using code MetaIntro. Now for our next story. California is about to shake up the fast food industry with a brand new $20 minimum wage kicking in the first week of April. We're talking a 25% jump from the current state minimum, putting an extra $1.20 in the pockets of hundreds of thousands of California fast food workers. Supporters are cheering this as a win for workers, finally giving them a decent shot at affording that California dream. Critics, though, are worried it might hit businesses too hard, forcing them to raise menu prices or even cut staff. Think about this. You're at In-N-Out, which their starting pay is $23 an hour, but the fast food joint down the street is only paying $17 to $16. This new law aims to level the playing field, giving companies the ability to attract equal talent. So what does it exactly mean for the future? Professor John Logan, a labor expert, says this could be a game changer. It might not just improve wages, but working conditions too. Plus, it could inspire other states to follow suit. But it might not be all sunshine and rainbows. Business owners like Bruce Stimson at Fisherman's Pizzeria fear they'll lose workers to these high-paying fast food joints. Alex Johnson, who owns Auntie Anne's and Cinnabon franchises, is sweating the potential 470 k annual hit to his bottom line. Layoffs and even store closures could be on the table, and some places might resort to raising prices. Will burger prices skyrocket? It might be too early to tell. But one thing's for sure. California is about to test the kitchen for a bold new experiment. And for our last story. Remember that crazy layoff wave that slammed us in 2022 and kept rolling through 2023? 2024 isn't exactly sunshine and rainbows either. Big names like Pixar, Google, Microsoft, they're all trimming the fat. Here's the thing. It's too early to tell this year will be a repeat of last year's layoff roller coaster, where things chilled in the summer, then went nuts again by the winter. Outside of the hot pockets of AI and nearby fields, most companies are in cost-cutting mode. Growth mindsets are out, efficiency is in, all thanks to a stubborn market that just won't budge. Tracking these layoffs are a double-edged sword. Sure, it helps us see how innovation is impacted, but companies are feeling the squeeze. But let's be real, it's also a brutal reminder of the human cost of these cuts and how the whole risk landscape can shift from here on out. We put together a monster list of all the Web3 tech layoffs since last year, so you can check that out in the bio. Here's a real gut punch. 2023 saw a whopping 262,735 tech workers lose their jobs. That's a 59% jump from the year before. And even though 2024 hasn't hit the crazy peak of last year's first quarter yet, it's definitely not off to a smooth start. We're talking January layoffs alone reaching nearly 20,000 people. Yikes. So the big question is, is this a new normal for tech? Are the boom days officially over? Stay tuned because this story is far from written. That said, that's all I got for you today. So I'll see you next week.